Transcription is the first step of making a protein from DNA instructions. Our genome is made of DNA. The genome is like a huge book full of instructions, and a gene is a set of instructions for making a single protein. Cells first copy just one gene and send this copy to a factory in the cell, called a ribosome, which will use the instructions to build a protein. Scientists refer to the copying process as transcription, since transcribing means making copies. So how does transcription work? DNA consists of two strands wrapped around each other to form a double helix, like a twisted ladder. Let's untwist it and take a closer look. The rungs of the ladder are made by only four bases, denoted by the letters A, T, G, and C. To understand transcription, we need to remember a simple but crucial rule. A always pairs with T, and G always pairs with C. This is called the base pairing rule, which is used to copy the entire genome from one cell to the next, and it's used for transcription. The cell uses RNA to make the copy of one strand of a single DNA gene, and transcription is when a machine, known as an enzyme, called RNA polymerase, uses the base pairing rule to make this RNA copy. RNA and DNA are very similar, but RNA uses the base U instead of the base T. Just like T, U pairs with A, so the cell still follows the base pairing rule to make an RNA copy of a DNA gene. In many cases, the RNA is further modified in a couple of interesting ways to make a messenger RNA, or mRNA. This mRNA is then used as instructions to make a protein. That's how transcription works. In this sketch, we've focused on mRNA, which is used to make thousands of protein machines in your body. However, there are several other types of RNA that perform other useful tasks in the cell. All of these RNAs are produced by transcription.